So a few months ago, we made a video about how Ghana is transitioning its energy sources from non-renewable energies to renewable energies like the hydro, wind and solar energy. And they are doing this because they have a target of moving from 84% electricity access to 90%. So they want to generate more additional energy without producing any greenhouse gases, which means they want to save the world from heat or drought that we are currently facing. But renewable energies are very expensive and they can be unreliable sometimes because hydro generations required enough rain to fill dams for their supply of flowing water and wind turbines also require wind blowing at least with minimum wind speed to move their blaze solar panels also need clear skies and sunshine to get the heat required to generate electricity and again setting up renewable energy generation facilities requires a heat huge upfront capital. That is why many countries are finding it very difficult to transition from non-renewable energies like the coal, natural gas and oil to renewable energy. But Ghana is pushing very hard on that. In our last video, we showed you how they are installing solar panels on top of their dams to generate energy and also protect the dams from direct sunshine to avoid evaporation. And now they are also building solar farms so that these farms will generate electricity to the communities where they are sited. And this week, President Tekufuado commissioned one of Vuta Rivers Authority's 13 megawatt solar farms at Kalio in the Upper West region. According to the president, the project is the first phase of what will eventually be a 28 megawatt plant. And this is to fulfill the government's promise to diversify the country's energy generation portfolio and increase the nation's renewable energy generation mix. Let's hear this and more from President Nana Akufuado during the official commissioning of the Volta River 13 megawatt solar farm at Kalio. You recall that in February 2020, before the conduct of the 2020 general elections, I was here in Kaleo to cut the sword for the commencement of this project, which was the first phase of what will eventually be a 28 megawatt plant here at Kaleo. As pledged, this project has been duly completed, reiterating government's commitment to, divide, to diversify further the country's entire generation portfolio and increasing the nation's renewable energy generation mix. The project, along with ongoing interventions in the area of energy efficiency, use of natural gas for thermal generation, adoption of cleaner cooking solutions, decarbonization of oil production, amongst others, is helping us accelerate the attainment of our nationally determined contributions, as presented at COP26 in Glasgow, in the United Kingdom. The Kufuado government has invested heavily in the electricity transmission network, which will enable us to evacuate more renewable energy through the national grid to support the extension of electricity to all parts of Ghana. For this reason, Kaleo has a dedicated transmission line that evacuates power from the current and future solar capacity at Kaleo to the grid co substation at Wa. At peak sun hours, the Kaleo and Laura plants can meet the entire load at WA and its environs. This can make WA the greenest city in Ghana. Since 1961, when the nation started commercial production of electricity, almost all the generation assets, with the exception of the Bui hydropower plant, have been located in the middle and southern parts of the country. We have thus taken upon ourselves, as part of our development tra trajectory, to bring some of these sources closer to the north, thereby opening up additional opportunities in our regional development journey. I'm happy to announce that even as we commissioned this project, 
the construction of another 15 megawatt plant has already begun and funding has been duly secured from our partners, the German Development Bank KFW. We expect that in less than a year from now, the contractors will complete that as well, and we shall all gather together once more to witness another historic milestone. Without a doubt, the benefits of renewable energy in our part of the world are immeasurable. In addition to the preservation of the environment, the continued availability of the sun throughout the year at no extra charge reduces the current, the recurrent financial burden in delivering electricity in our nation. Renewable energy is an answer to poverty eradication, improved livelihoods, and a catalyst for socioeconomic development. I encourage international partners we're seeking to invest in other sectors of the country to work with the Volta River Authority to develop more of such projects in these environments. Ladies and gentlemen, now chairman, it is worth emphasizing that this Kaleo project will provide several benefits, including increasing the geographic spread of our power generation assets, improving the resilience of our national power system, stabilizing voltage levels and reliability of power supply in the region, and ultimately reducing the nation's carbon footprint. This new project is employing some 130 people during the construction phase. I'm glad to note that most of the workers used for some 95% of the construction and operational phase are from the nearby communities. The project will serve as a tourism boost for the Kaleo community and as a destination for educational and technological field trips, field trips in the region. It will contribute to promoting the advancement of science education, engineering and technological activities in this area and broaden the career outlook of our young people. With this project in the community, it is expected that corporate social responsibility programs for Kaleo and neighboring communities will be enhanced by the appropriate authorities in many forms, including but not limited to the rehabilitation of the Kaleo DA primary school and the provision of furniture and other critical amenities for the school. Accordingly, the not chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure to declare the 13 megawatt Kaleo solar power project duly commissioned. May God bless the people of Kaleo, the Upper West Region, and us all. Bye.